Being asked to appear is one Farmer Brown. A daisy cow claims that Farmer Brown forced himself upon her for, for the purpose of artificial insemination <laughs> and did not practice safe insemination at the time by using a glove. A further charge of undue rough handling by a daisy cow claims that on the night the event took place, the victim received a rather disturbed night's sleep and refused repeated efforts by Farmer Brown to inseminate her. It is understood that Farmer Brown then forced himself upon Daisy Cow against her will. Now, judging by the scribbled details I have here before me, Farmer Brown was in fact himself a, a High Court judge who I gather retired to run this little tax deduction of his. <laughs> Farmer Brown uh, claims that he interpreted Daisy Cow's repeated no's to mean yes. Which, which is of course common judicial thinking. <laughs> the court calls Farmer Brown to the stand! I thought you said the accused was here. Am I to understand the accused has not even attended his own hearing? I thought he was, Your Honour. I, I mean, I'm sure he'll be here any minute. Uh, it's, all, it's all right, Judge. I am here. I'm sorry. It's been one of those days. <laughs> no, I'm sure that I've had work up to here. <laughs> Honor. Farmer Brown, I know absolutely nothing about a star witness, but I do know that you're supposed to be in the witness box, so it's not... <laughs> if it's not too much of an inconvenience, would you kindly take to the stand? Uh, yes, certainly, Your Honour. Place your hand on the book, your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you... God! <laughs> I do. Sorry about that, Judge. It might be better if we... Can you say this? <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks, thanks for it. Uh, please be seated, Farmer Brown. <laughs> please be seated, sir. Are you good day? Please stay outstanding, Farmer Brown. We <laughs> <laughs> don't have a chair, Your Honour. Uh, Farmer Brown, what is your occupation? I'm here, if I'm here, right? And I understand that prior to that, you were in fact a judge on the High Court. Uh, that's right, Your Honour, and still am, as a matter of fact. And where do you hold this position of High Court Judge? Uh, Shepherd's Bush, Your Honour. You're a High Court Judge in a place called Shepherd's Bush? Yes, indeed, Your Honour, and the best one they have. Uh, that's why they moved me from the lower court, which really wasn't a court, it was just a grassy patch with a string strung across it. Still, it was the only tennis court that Shepherd's Bush had. Uh, up until a few years ago, when we all in, we built the new court, which is up on the hill before the fire station, uh, which is why we call it the High Court, because the other one's lower down the hill. Yes, yes. So uh, I, I gather they uh, asked you to be the, uh, the, the, the judge of the, of the town. Uh, that, that's right. I am the uh, official judge of the town. Do you recall what you were doing on the morning of June 15, 1993? I suppose the same thing I do every morning, Judge. Take care of the cows. And I suppose you have some sort of documentation uh, to say what happened to the stock on the farm? Oh, absolutely, Your Honour. These days, the modern farmer has to keep statistics on all his beasts, on how much milk he gets from them to, to when he impregnates them. You know, I tell you, once upon a time, it was a lot easier to run a farm. These days, of course, technology's crept into every inch of our lives. You know, I remember on the farm when the first newfangled temperature-controlled milk storage thing arrived. Uh, a little woman, God bless her, uh, thought it was one of those new age flotation tanks. Uh, anyway, she filled it up and knocked in, and uh, it wasn't until the bloke in the truck came to show us how to empty it that we actually popped the lid and there was Doris with her, with her float ring in her goggles going round and round and round and round Please try not to get off the track in this hearing. The fun Brown, do you recognise this chart? Uh, it looks like the dairy report for June, Your Honour. Yes, and what does it say you were doing on the morning of June 15, 1993? Uh, judging from here, we took 300 litres of milk, which wasn't bad, and uh, we also uh, performed AI on uh, B296 and B299, Your Honour. AI? Oh, sorry, Judge. 
scouts. That's that's dairy jargon uh, for artificial insemination. You see, that's where you take this big needle thing, right, and then you place it where it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mark Brown. I, I think I have the idea. Yes. <laughs> And uh, would one of the um, beasts mentioned be one daisy cow? Yeah, you got it in one, Your Honour. Be two nine sixes, Daisy. She's a good cow, uh, even though she is a little bit temperamental at times. Yes, and on the morning in question, did you artificially inseminate Daisy? Uh, yes, I did, Your Honour. Mm -hmm. And what did you inseminate the cow with? <laughs> Well, Judge, you've got to understand that in these modern times, you don't need a bull on the farm anymore. No, you see, all the little tadpoles, right, they arrive, they arrive pre-packaged, right, stunned in liquid nitroglycerin. And, and the entire naval squadron, which, well, that's what I, what I call the little fellas, since I don't like using the term seaman in front of Doris. The entire naval squadron comes mixed with, you'll never guess, Judge, eggs. That's right, comes mixed with eggs. You know, I'll never forget when I first started using the method, I was going through a container of the lot every two days. I mean, it's supposed to last at least a fortnight. Anyway, it turns out that Doris, she'd be using the stuff to make eggnog for the church <laughs> absolutely no reason whatsoever to uh, pursue this, these allegations in a court of law, but judging by the emotional state of Daisy, I will be granting visitation rights by her husband until further notice. In the meantime, Farmer Brown, you are free to continue with your business, whatever that may be. I'm a dairy farmer, Your Honour. Yes, indeed, it's a full-time job just trying to keep up with the technological advances. Do you know, I remember when you used to milk a cow using nothing but your hands. And nowadays, of course, they've got all those newfangled clip-on sucking things. Uh, not that that was new to me, of course, I've been using Norris's Electrolux for years. Uh, <laughs> although, I've got to admit, it's a lot easier doing all of them together. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it is, it is. And uh, it's a lot easier doing all of them yeah, together. Yeah, the farmer brown, really, uh, that's quite enough. You're free to go. Case dismissed. The judge. About my new ideas for technology, dairy farming in the future. Flavoured milk, direct from the cow. Like keeping them on a special diet of, of lime and lemon, chocolate, strawberries. And, and, and judge, judge, and, and what about my idea of taking the milk direct from the cow, from the udder, straight into soft little packaging ready for sale? I call them teacher packs. <laughs> I'm going to build a microwave up and big enough to fit a cow. And then we'll just put them in for a couple of minutes, set it on high, and bingo, long life milk. <laughs> and what about my idea for the milk vendors? We're going to do a combined milk vendors Woolworths takeover by share purchase. All right, that will satisfy everybody. Judge? Judge? Well, well, I guess I'm just ahead of the time.